Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures, and welcome to my workbench. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And today we're going to talk a little bit about USB C and power delivery. And as you can see, I got a couple of gadgets here. I've just recently started looking into USB C power delivery as a way of powering my QRP radios. So we're going to Try that out today and see if we're able to use one of these power banks or hopefully both of these power banks to power um, one of my QRP radios. Um, what I got here, I got a couple of different things here. First of all, I got two power banks. They're pretty much 20 milliamp hour USB-C power banks. Um, they have a USB-C power delivery port and I can see that the camera is not focusing here, but it does say USB-C PD. We're going to get back to what USB-C power delivery is, though, after a little while. We're just going to take a look at these power banks. This is just one of those really simple power banks. Then we have a little bit more of a fancy one here. Pretty much 20 milliamp hours, a little bit more sturdy. It's got a display that shows you what's going on, but it's got the same thing. One USB-A and one USB-C, and the USB-C is power delivery. Um, then we have a couple of cables here. Um, first of all, if you've seen Bob, LB5JJ's recent video, he made a couple of cables as a Christmas present to me. And these are these two cables, which are 12 volt USB-C power delivery cables. Then I got a couple of cables I've experimented with. And the reason I'm showing you all this is so I'm going to, I'm going to show you that not all cables and all power banks are the same though. Um, this one is just, uh, uh, USB-C to barrel connector a plug that I bought off of a local electronics store. Also 12 volt power delivery um, came with the wrong kind of barrel connector so I just stripped it put a Wago to power pole connector here. Then I got this cable which I made myself a couple of days ago. Um, pretty simple thing. We got this little USB-C power delivery board here which allows you, and I know my camera's got a hard time focusing on this, so let's see if we can get it to focus. Doesn't seem to want to focus really good. Uh, but you can use a set of dip switches to change the power delivery voltage between 5, 9, 12, and 20, 12, 15, and 20 volts. You got three dip switches here. So I used one of these boards, set it to 12 volts, soldered some cables on and a pair of power, power poles and got myself one of these cables here. So what is USB-C power delivery? Well, it's a standard of delivering different voltages through USB-C. And as I said, you can deliver 5, 9, 12, 15 and 20 volts here. The reason you need one of these chips is because what you're plugging into it is not a USB power delivery device though. So you need something to tell the power supply, in our case one of these power banks, that you need 12, 12 volts. Pretty simple this far. But not all power banks, not all cables are the same. So we're going to take a look at um, my most problematic cable and power bank combo first here. And that's actually this cable, which I got from a local electronics store. Because what happens once you plug this into the power bank is that a power bank turns on and you got 12 volts out here. I'm not going to measure it because um, I'm going to show you later on with the cable with the meter or the voltage meter on. But as soon as you put some load into this cable, well, you don't even need a load. You see, turn off. It just doesn't stay on. Whereas if I plug it into the other power bank here, you see, it turns on, and this actually doesn't turn off. So you can use this cable with this power bank, but not the other way around. And that's, I have no idea why it's like that. Um, but that leads to my point though, that not all power banks and not all USB-C power delivery cables are equal. Furthermore, if you're gonna go this route, make sure that you get a power bank that can deliver enough juice out for your device. But let's take a look at one of the other cables here though, and we're gonna use the one with a meter here so you can see that it works. So we have this cable here with a meter, 
let's plug it into this power bank here and as you can see 12.2 volts all the way into a power pole connector so you can use this to power anything that needs 12 volts over uh, power poles such as a QRP radio this is kind of the ultimate go-to cable let's try it out with the other power bank as well and we got 12.2 here as well so um, I know it's kind of hard to see with the lighting and everything but uh, let's see if I do like this you can see that it says 12.2 volts so this works with a QRP radio it's okay it turned off but this power bank's got a little bit of a trick though you can put it into trickle charge mode and with this cable it works with a triple trickle charge mode with the other cable I showed you it does not however with this board which I got from a local electronic store but I'm gonna link to the same card from Aliexpress down below if you want to go this route and experiment they were really cheap I think they're about two dollars a piece this one works the same way as this one same with this cable as that Bob made for me which is specifically for the G106 or you can use it with a Zygu X6100 X6200 uh, ICOM 705 so it's just a standard barrel connector I think it's 5.5 by 2.5 this one here and same with this board here uh, which is basically it's, it's the same board as here so it works but I'm a little bit concerned though um, seems that the more let's call it the more magic the more features you pack into power bank the more prone is it to be picky about the cables this is a simple one this just gives power out well this is a display that shows you how much water you're drawing and everything so not all USB-C power delivery cables are the same and not all power banks are the same I did quite a bit of research to find these two which I was pretty sure could deliver at least three amps out which I think I need for for my QRP radios let's go ahead plug this into power bank and see if it works under load though um, so we're gonna take a radio I'm gonna use the Saigu uh, G106 I'm going to plug that into dumb load and we're going to try to uh, to do a constant carrier mode and see if uh, both of these power banks stay on under load so let's go ahead and do that and just to be just to be sure that we have enough of a dumb load i'm going to use my 100 watt dumb load here not necessarily because uh, i couldn't use a smaller one but just simply because I couldn't find my 10 watt dumb load so um, let's do it with 100 watt here and uh, so we're sure that at least nothing is gonna go wrong then we're gonna t take the G106 here plug that into the dumb load and I know that this overhead angle is not perfect for what we're doing but um, you just have to live with me and I'm gonna show you the settings on the display here furthermore we need a way of powering it and we're gonna use this little cable with the voltage meter so we can see if there's any voltage drop on it and we're going to test this with both of the power banks and for that since it's a power pole adapter we need just plug the power cable for the radio into this one plug it into the radio and then we'll start with the smaller and simpler of these two power banks just gonna plug it in here you can see that it powers up let's see if we can get 12.2 volts see if we can put this somewhere where you can actually see the display and there's a little bit of shade here I'll just have to keep my hand like this and and give a little bit of a shade to the side lighting here then we're gonna need the microphone we got the microphone here let's plug that into the front of the radio let's turn the radio on and see if it works radio is on see that it's still 12.2 volts so let's put this in a uh, constant carrier mode
Let's see. Wrong button. Put this into AM mode. Turn the volume down because we don't need any any sound. You can see that it says AM up here. So let's just put this down. And let's press, I'll shade for, for the voltage here. Let's press PTT and see what happens. And we have no voltage drop and the radio, I'm gonna, just gonna show you here, no voltage drop while I PTT it. So this works pretty well. So as you can see, this worked really fine with the first power bank. So let's try it out with the other power bank and see if we get any voltage drop during load with that one. And this one we got a char um, we got a trick into trickle charge mode, and it seems to be that way since the last time. On this one too, you can see how much. Let's see if we can get some less lighting here, so you can actually see it. You can actually see how many watt it, watts it goes out with. Let's start the radio up. And you can see that the 106 actually draws about 4 watts in idle here. Um, but the exciting thing is, and let's see if we're, we're not in AM mode now, so let's put it into AM mode. Turn the audio down. And press the PTT and see if we get any voltage drop. And I'll try to, let's see if I can get everything in frame here. And I'm going to do it like this. Press the PTT, no voltage drop. And we're drawing about 13 watts when doing this. So, let's try to conclude here a little bit though. Are USB-C power delivery cables the future of QRP? Is it easier to actually bring one of these gizmos then um, oh I'm terribly out of focus is it easier to bring one of these gizmos than actually to uh, to bring a regular old LIFO 4 battery um, my initial thought on this is yes it is because it saves you a lot of hassle it saves you a lot of wires it saves you weight one of these batteries is is way lighter than uh, than almost any life before battery it also gives you the opportunity to charge let's say your laptop or any other your phone any other device while out on the road so for QRP activations, I'm going to say that USB-C power delivery is a win. And before we wrap up, I'm, I'm going to talk about why I went this route, though. I've seen Steve temporarily offline. He's done a couple of videos on this. It intrigued me a little bit, but not enough to get started with it. Then Bob LB5JJ has done a whole video series. So check him out, youtube.com slash at LB5JJ on USB power delivery where it tries out different power banks and different solutions for it. And he's the one that sold me on the idea. But most important though, um, I'm flying to Scotland in January. I'm having a weekend in Edinburgh with my wife and I just hope I pronounced Edinburgh correctly. And I'm gonna do a Parks on the Air activation there. And then my question is, which is easier to bring through airport security? One of these? Or one of these, a car battery with some wire sticking out of it. And even though you're allowed to bring a car battery with wire sticking out of it on a plane, this is much smoother through airport security. So I'm not going to give you the complete solution because as you saw, not all power banks, not all USB power delivery triggers are equal. 
you've seen what works for me and uh, then I'd recommend you to do a little bit of research. Not all power banks are available around the world and shipping batteries is almost all of the time tricky. So um, what you need to take into consideration is what is available where you are. Um, as for the trigger board that I've used, I got this from a local electronic store, but I'm pretty sure he got that one from AliExpress. So um, I'm going to leave a link to the same board on AliExpress down in the description. And should you be interested in the G106, I'll leave an affiliate link for that down below as well. Also from AliExpress. And that should be enough to get you started in your adventures into USB-C power delivery and ham radio. Thank you for watching this far. Please hit that thumbs up if you like this video or the thumbs down. But if you were... If we were going to give me a thumbs down, you probably wouldn't watch this far. Uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it. And um, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, there are a couple of options down below. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. See you in my next video. See you down the bands. 7-3, my friends.